You ready to do this thing? Is it ready? Yeah, it's ready. All right, so we got a unit going out in like, what, like 15 minutes? Yeah. So I want to show, we've done, we haven't done a video in a while, and I wanted to show this one. It's 24 feet. It's an Everest. It's got a really awesome siding on it. Um, white cabinets. It's got their shelves inside. So it's windy out, so I'll, whatever. This is awesome. All right, so it's got that siding on it. That uh, stuck steel siding, and it's got the white white corner post. It's always either removable. Uh, let me turn on the radio. Anyways, um, yeah, so this is a 24 foot trailer. It's got AC, heat pump. Um, on this one, we mounted the propane tanks in the front. Um, what do, we, what do you want to know about? Um, it's got uh, 14, 14 K axles, two 7 Ks, 14,000 pound oh. capacity. And then uh, it's got a normal stabilizer jacks. Siding's freaking awesome. Yeah, I like this color. All right, well, let's go inside. All right, so a couple of things on this one. Uh, we put our shelves in this in this unit instead of upper cabinets. Uh, we like that a lot. I think it looks awesome. It doesn't. Uh, it feels bigger in the kitchen. I don't know why, but it's just a just an optical, I suppose. And then, uh, so the last the last video we did, everybody criticized that I went way too fast. So we're gonna take it really slow this time. Um, four burner. Propane stove, just gonna move this out of here for a second. Um, full size, it's got a full size oven in it. Um, functional drawers. All of our units come with a power cord. It's something mandatory by the RBIA. Um, this is AquaCam. You gotta put this in your tank for your toilet to break down the solid waste. Block countertops, which we seal, um, but then you should probably keep that up to date every once in a while, um, especially the first couple of months. Flip down drawer hinges in front of the sink. We've got a full size refrigerator, well, kind of, it's three quarter. It's pretty big for a tiny house. Um, it's about 10 cubic square feet. Cubic, yeah, fair enough. All right, it's late in the day. Uh, all of our drawers are dovetail drawers, solid uh, plywood and uh, box construction, and also slam stop. More storage underneath here. Um, in here, this is where we have our on onboard battery. Um, if you're gonna put any batteries inside these units, you need to vent them outside. Uh, it's that simple. Uh, we have a vent that goes out the bottom. That both adds for um, if the battery was to overflow from acid or whatever, it can get out of it, it can evacuate through the bottom. And then also it creates a cross ventilation so you don't get any harmful gases inside the unit. So that's how we do that. And then in here, back there is all your mechanicals for water heater and your onboard water pump for the holding tanks. Also, you have your electrical panel here, easily accessible, and that's there. Um, all right, well, let's check out this big ass bathroom. This is freaking huge. So, uh, this is this is a five foot tub, two piece enclosure. Um, it's five feet depth, seven four this way. Um, Mullen faucet fixtures. And uh, yeah, it's, I mean, I'm a big guy. Pretty, pretty comfortable in here. Uh, obviously, the customer will put a curtain in and also a, uh, a mirror above the vanity. But uh, yeah, big 18 inch vanity, plenty of storage underneath there. We've got our low flush toilet right here. Um, hope nobody's working underneath there. <laughs> 
This is really cool. Um, so this is our on-demand water heater system. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's a you change the you can change the temperature to whatever you want. And uh, basically you just come in, turn it to hot, and that's it. And, and it's as long as you dial this into whatever you feel comfortable with, the temperature will always be perfect every time. So a lot of people love that. Um, this is something new that we're, we just added. Uh, these are drawers. People are like, wow, you're coming into the 21st century of tiny houses. You guys finally have drawers and your stairs. Well, you know, it's like <laughs> we evolve slowly, but we want when we do something, we want it to be perfect. And uh, we, we just don't we just don't go into anything unless we refine it and feel comfortable with it. And then in here we've got a little storage closet for clothes and so forth. Uh, we'll gotta hit that with a vacuum. And then and then we got a lock. So Pretty big box. This is a king size bed. Um, that loft is just as big, I just noticed, because that's a five foot loft, too. In such a small space, this one has this one feels wide open, even though it's only 24 feet. So back here we got a living room. So still about six three, six four underneath the loft here. Uh, customer will mount a TV right here. Um, sometimes we put the mount on, sometimes not. Um, in this case, they're gonna put their own mount in. In here we. Right here we put one of these in every single unit. This is a propane and carbon monoxide detector. So this, um, this is powered by a 12 volt power source directly off of our panel. So it's always running and it'll detect if a propane leak, even the smallest propane leak. So propane has a distinct smell to it, but this will pick it up even if you can't smell that. So it's a small space, so you wanna make sure you have something like that. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said before, the exterior's got a really cool uh, steel variegated siding. It looks like uh, weathered wood. Um, and then we come in here and we blended that with um, with our weathered uh, cabinet shelf or kitchen shelves and butcher block countertop, big kitchen sink. And this one just looks really freaking sweet. A lot of people ask this question, and I, I don't understand why, I mean, it's pretty obvious, but uh, this ladder is to get up into the loft, so uh, a lot of people ask how you get in the other loft, and this ladder comes over, hooks to our little bar right there, and, and that's it, and you hop up in there. So, hope you've enjoyed this, hopefully I took a little less time, I didn't talk as fast, and uh, that's our 24 foot Everest for the day. Perfect. I think it was good. Yeah, we're well, gonna get that back in my Other than that, we're good. <laughs>